Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. At first I do want to apologize because I have been gone forever. I honestly don't even want to get into the details because the video would be too long. If you guys care to know, then just leave me a comment down below and I can make a separate video about this. But today we are here, well I'm here, to film my current favorite beauty and makeup products. So if you're interested to see which products have basically just spiced up and lighted, lit up my life for the past month and actually already some time before that, then please just keep on watching. First off, I want to start with the Dr. Brand Microdermabrasion Age Defined Exfoliator, which is this little guy right here. Now this came in my boxy charm, and I have to say I was first like really critical because this retails for like $85 or something crazy like that. But let me tell you, girl, the money is definitely worth it. It does exfoliate your skin. Um, it definitely gives your skin um, more of a radiant look to it. You can feel it working when you apply it, and I'm I'm. I'm just in love like honestly um, I would definitely spend the $85 to get this back that's how good this is so if you can get your hands on this definitely do second I have something that is a little bit more inexpensive and this is the Freeman Dead Sea Minerals anti-stress mask now this says it says that it clears pores and smooths smooth skin I have a separate review <laughs> I have a separate review on this um, mask. I think this is like super inexpensive. It does say that it fits all skin types. I honestly feel like when it comes to clearing pores and tightening pores up, I think that a lot of products promise that but they really don't do this. I think that this mask, honestly, my skin just all in all just appears more even um, the pores are not as visible as they normally are. The only thing that I would recommend when you use this is um, make sure that you moisturize really good afterwards because I do feel like it kind of dries out your skin a little bit. But other than that, you can get your hands on this. Get it girl, get it girl. Next I have the Percy Reed London Bountifully Bouncy Volumizing Shampoo, geez, all those words, which is this guy right here. Now, I actually got this as a gift from our, I'm gonna call it like the Europe Sephora, <laughs> okay, like a high-end store. Um, I ordered a bunch of makeup and stuff and they gave me this for free. And so normally when I get something for free, I'm like, you know, I don't know, like normally I feel like they're just trying to get rid of it or whatever. But I honestly have to say that um, this shampoo does a pretty good job. Now, I don't blow dry my hair just because I try, I already straighten it, so I try to keep the rest of the uh, damage as small as possible. Some um, shampoos or products that you use without blow drying, when it comes to volumizing, volumization, I don't even know if that's a word, but okay, it just sounds good. They normally don't come out that well, okay? So um, when I heard uh, volumizing, I was like, you know what, let me just give it a try, and I really, really like it. I have really been noticing a volumizing effect. I really like this guy. All right, next product, uh, I was debating if I should even put this on you or not, but you know, we're all women, so I felt like we could just like talk about it, right? Um, this is the Summer's Eve Delicate Blossom Cleanse and Wash, you know, for our private parts, you know, gotta stay off fresh and stuff and um, I recently actually I asked my husband to pick this up for me because I've been noticing that my private area just was feeling like a little uneasy or whatever and I wanted um, cleanse and wash specifically for that area I have to say I really enjoy the scent the scent is really light very fresh it, it leaves you feeling very light and very fresh as well it's also really inexpensive um, I did try some other um, scents from them before um, but I do have to say that I kind of really like the delicate blossom I think you know besides the fact that the packaging is all cute and stuff you know <laughs> it's so awkward talking about this stuff but you know I mean I'm trying to be honest here, okay I'm trying to be honest that was it for beauty the rest is just makeup my absolute fave for brows is the Cabral by Benefit now I just recently picked this guy up I have the color five uh, I think they have six colors in total I actually picked this up because one of my close girlfriends was like listen you know I just picked this up and so I was like you know what let me just try this out and I got this and honestly honestly guys I hate doing my eyebrows I'm not a, sp a specialist when it comes to eyebrows I know there's a lot of girls that killing the eyebrow game I'm not first of all I'm too impatient second of all I honestly don't care too much for brows I do want them to look good but I don't want to spend like 15 minutes just fixing my brows I'm like you know I'm not down for that and this honestly is perfect for that. I feel like uh, the consistency is kind of like um, a mixture between a powder and a gel type of formula. Up here you have the little 
um, brush and um, which is also what I apply it with and honestly if you can like get your hands on this and you are like me just lazy when it comes to brows but you want them to look good and um, you can do a very precise work when it comes to this um, then definitely pick this up because this is just it's, it's as good as people say it is next we have this kiss strip lash adhesive with alu I got it in the color black now this is the uh, yeah eyelash glue like really Sarah I used to always use the uh, duo one but honestly like the it didn't stick well enough for me I have very watery eyes sometimes so I needed something that was a little more like yeah sticky I guess that wouldn't come off as easy and um, I don't know I don't know I really heard someone talking about it but I really honestly do not remember and I don't want to say anything wrong so I did see this in store and I just picked it up this is my new like I love it like it takes a little bit of time to dry like once you apply it you want to give it a few seconds to like dry and then you put it on but once it is set it's actually staying in place it's not moving anywhere it's not going anywhere so this is like life and <sighs> I think I have a hair on my nose also this is extremely inexpensive I think this is like this big thing is like three dollars or something and this is gonna last you like forever like, next I wanted to share with you guys what I did for foundation now over here in Germany we do have spring is slowly coming the Sun as you guys can tell is coming out so um, I'm always looking for a foundation that sticks to my face even if it's sun sunny you know and I kind of been trying a new combination which is the Pro Matte and the Pro Glow by L'Oreal and honestly this is my no my new holy grail because the Pro Matte tends to it sticks perfectly it stays perfectly but honestly this tends to be a little bit too matte at times and the Pro Glow tends to be a little bit too glowy for me at times so I was like you know what let me just try those two together and honestly perfect I feel like this gives you like a velvety finish um, it is glowy enough but not too glowy and matte enough but not too matte so I think this is perfect for spring and um, I don't know I have to try it out in the summertime I'm an oily two combination skin type of girl so if you are as well just try the combo you might love it as much as I do uh, we're almost done for lip product I wanted to mention something that I have genuinely been using a lot I didn't want to come up with stuff that I've been used like once a month or whatever the Elegory story lip gloss in the color I can't read the color <laughs> plateau cave for something like that which is this boy right here this is also what I'm wearing it's the only thing that I'm wearing and I love this I think it's a perfect gloss for every day because especially if you are of medium or deeper skin tone this is the perfect nude gloss now it has a lot of pigmentation which I personally really enjoy because on a day-to-day -day basis I don't like doing a whole lot of different lip combos and stuff like that I just want to throw something on you know as a mom of two and stuff like that and just be good and just be good to go and something also that I can just reapply without having to worry about how it looks or whatever and this is the perfect gloss for this you might enjoy this too and last but not least I wanted to mention a scent this is by Yves Saint Laurent and it's the black opium now I know this guy has been out for a while and I have been using it for a while and um, I just fell back in love with it now it is a little bit heavy so if like for spring and summer days just for the days I would normally not use this but if you're going out for dinner or going to the club or whatever you know at night time or like you know like something in the evening I think this is the perfect scent it is very sexy and sensual definitely worth the money it is a little bit pricey of course it's Yves Saint Laurent but if you um, invest in this the scent is so strong that you really don't need a lot of it so it's gonna last you a long time all right dolls that was it for my current favorites um, I don't know if I'm gonna call this the current favorites or the favorites of the month of April I don't know depending on when I get that video up I will definitely be trying to get back to a normal schedule for you guys um, if you enjoyed this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up also let me know in the comments down below which products you really enjoyed this month and um, just in general like the, your favorite products maybe there's something that is interesting to me that I can pick up as well other than that I will talk to you guys soon and I love you guys bye